Hi, hey everybody. Are we welcome for some purse shopping? Some purse tripping? Let's do it. I already got, there's a sneak peek, a basket full of goodies. And I'm just going to keep on keeping on here and see if I can find any more things for you and I as we go along. Because there are some really cute bags in here today. This one I loved so much. It's a fossil. But it's just that there's too much color transfer, I believe is what that is. And I don't think I can get it out of this type of leather. But look what a cute bag this is. So cute with key and everything on it. But yeah, a little bit too much. And um, they want 25 for it. So we're probably gonna go ahead and pass on that one. But if somebody knows how to get color transfer out of a very thirsty leather, and it's here. What are you? Oh, they've got this little cute bag too. It looks like a Dior, but it's not. A little tiny Dior bucket bag, but there's a pretty bad stain on it. Um, so we're gonna pass on that one. But trust me, I've got lots of surprises in my basket for you. As soon as this video is over, we will go ahead and do the car haul. And everything you see that I uh, show you in the car, is going to be listed in the description box for sale so you may find something you want you can just purchase it right away through paypal no exchanges no returns because all of my items as you see are thrifted um also you guys we have merch on our website we've got t-shirts now and we actually already sold our first t-shirt as soon as we put up as soon as we had put up the uh able the little you click able where you can make it available for sale so purse tripping t-shirts if you guys are interested they're super cute and thank you robin brown for your purchase of our very you're the very first purchaser of our t-shirts this is a really cute little vintage fossil um, i think i'm gonna pass those simply because of the style it doesn't look like something that i would sell really quickly so we're probably gonna pass on that although it is adorable um, I've got Kate Spade in my basket, you guys. I've got some super, super cute bags. Here's a Betsy Johnson. It's something very vintage. A pretty little Steve Madden quilted crossbody. Also, last night somebody was asking me if I had walks. And I actually picked up a few of those. And those are actually going to be on tomorrow night's sale walk is a wallet on a chain why they call it on a chain i don't know because it's really a strap so here's a sack bag i know these are kind of popular right now i just don't know if you guys would be interested let me know if you guys want me to start purchasing sack bags i will i've got one right now at home it's a black quilted one with a flap um but that one is I'll see if it sells first, and if it does well, then I'll definitely grab you guys more sack bags as I thrift. This one I was going to take yesterday, but I didn't, um, be simply because of the shine. And I know that the snake print is kind of to be desired by a few. I love it personally, um, but a lot don't. So this one is actually by the brand Perlina. Show you here. By Perlina. And it is in like brand new condition, but um, that might be a hard sell. So I'm gonna keep that one there as well. Let's go on down the line. They've got this coach, but there's way too much wear on it. You guys can see up close that that would be super hard to get completely out. Because when you do hand wash this type of uh, sateen material, and it's got some sort of a metallic leather the metallic on the leather it does come off if you're not super easy so not super careful so got to be careful with that let's see what else we can find down here that's a b Mikowski, but the wear on that is real bad looking see in real life it's more of like a yellowy color but here it looks really white so that's weird 
kind of cold. There's a bagolini. These are really nice, but that's too much. Too much for a bagolini. Steve Madden. <clears throat> I know somebody's gonna say, why didn't you pick that up? Because it's a hard sale for me as well. Not a certain name, I don't think. This coach I love. Love, love, love it. But there's way too much wear on these little stud guys here. It looks so much different on my camera than it does in real life. Otherwise, I would get this for you guys. It's just, it looks dirty. Although it's not dirty, it's just wear. So I'm gonna pass on it and hang it up after I show you the rest of what we have hanging up over here. Ooh, what's this sparkly party bag? Holy cow. Is that leather? I can't tell. Looks kind of looks kind of special. I'm going to have to do more research on this one. Open it up and see what we've got there. There's a coach shoulder bag. That one's actually cute. Nope. It's got tear up here. Tear on there. There's a Marona, that's from Target. And a really old agenda. Okay, moving over here. This is no name, but it is really cute. Love the cheetah on that one. Ooh, what's this? Oh, that's cute. That one's really cute. And it's a Montana West, and these are very expensive. And I don't see a price on it. Maybe they'll price it. I might get that one, because that's super pretty. So we'll put that in the cart. Let's see. See what happens when you go through again? You just never know. Something might pop out that wasn't there before. Steve Madden. Looking little bunny rabbit. This looks like a vintage piece here. Hmm. Kind of pretty, kind of not. I would get this, but too bad it's peeling. This is a Kipling saw yesterday, but uh, it doesn't have the little guy with it, the little monkey, so I'm not going to get it. I only buy them when they have the monkeys attached because nobody wants their Kipling without a monkey. At least from what I've discovered. Oh shoot. Okay Kim, now you gotta hang that one back up. So I will do that in just a second as well. And then let's go over here and see what 
area we have a coat wristlet gonna pass on that one oh that one's real bad shape oh that's cute I think I'll get that one put it in our basket and decide who are you Steve Madden. Pass. And climb. Stay wild. That's cute. Little leopard wallet. Not gonna get it though. Plastic. The sack. Oh, that's bad shape too. King Yanella wallet. Sack roof. Kind of small, kind of pass, $19.99. Mm, that one's pretty tore up. Okay guys, best part of the shopping is the haul. So let's get started and show you all the bags that we got. This is mine. In case you guys are wondering what the bag of the day is, it's my House of Harlow snake bag. Loving this bag right now. Love, love, love. So that's what my bag of the day is. All right, so don't forget you guys, you've got to check, um, look at the link below. It's PurseTrippin.com. it's our website. You're gonna see our new merch there. You're gonna see tons more items that we have for sale, meaning purses, wallets, and accessories. And um, what doesn't sell here in this vlog right away will be dropped on our website, okay? So like I said, if you want, you can purchase the items right here, right now, from the description box below. All of your directions and instructions will be listed there with the items, okay? So of course, I'm keeping my Nightmare Before Christmas friends in mind because I still have you guys out there, I know, but the stuff is really hard to find but I found this super cute backpack purse with Jack on the front and it's in like new condition. Got the cute little toggle on the flap. It's like a knitted material. It's really cool, kind of like a, just a knit, really nice black, the straps on the back and then it's a drawstring like a bucket bag and on the inside, it is just plain and is super, super clean. Okay. This is so pretty and I can't wait to show you who it's by. Genuine leather, top handle. Ran brand new, it's got the embossed flowers on the edge. Uh, it's kind of like a reddish brown material with a really pretty mustard interior. It has a crossbody strap that you can detach and adjust. I love the lock on this. Raw leather flap. And then the inside looks like this. Perfectly clean. Uh, zipper pocket. And this is by, this is by, Jack and Chris. Okay, we have another zipper pocket. So two zippers, an open pocket, and two more open pockets here. 
and like I said this one is in brand new condition looks like it's never even had anything in it no signs of wear at all the leather on it is beautiful beautiful pebbled leather and it's structured Next, I have a Kate Spade backpack in black pebbled leather. Large, beautiful pebble, very slouchy. Adjustable straps for your back. And that right there is just a little something that's gonna wipe right off, so not to worry about that. It's got the tassel pulls with very light gold tone hardware. And it too pulls down like a bucket bag. Snap closure. Um, on the interior, you've got a zipper and open pockets over here. And again, but don't worry, before you get this stuff, I clean it all, I sanitize it, and I also, <coughs> I also uh, do the moisturizing on the leather. This doesn't need it, but I'm still gonna do it. So it'll come to you nice and nice and clean and fresh and pretty. And ready to use. Corners are in great condition as well. So pretty. That's the Kate Spade. Oh, and then I did, I got this. This is the Montana West, and this one is brand new with tags. Brand new with tags. Uh, matching wallet is available, it says, but I don't have the matching wallet. It's from the Boot Barn, and it is 70 bucks retail. Oops, $70 retail. Zip top closure. Lots of pockets. More pockets over here. And then a slip pocket, and then this is concealed carry as well. This right here is for your snacks or your carry, concealed carry, whatever you like. Is this real leather, you may be asking? Uh, be calm and carry a gun. This is concealed, then carry. Uh, let's see if there's a tag in here saying. I will definitely let you know in the description box because I don't want to take up all the time looking, but um, it's beautiful. This too is a pocket on the front. Sure feels like leather. Pocket there, and then it's got all the embossing, the rhinestones right there, rhinestones there, and then um, lots of pewter studs. Really pretty. Okay, that's Montana West. This was the very first one I walked in on and was so excited. Look at this Lavender Kate Spade, you guys. It's a smooth leather and it's got little scalloped edging around the front twist lock pocket. Thank goodness it came with its strap. Gold tone hardware. Got the little flap here. Adorable little satchel. Zip top closure, the inside is super clean with a zipper and open pockets. Feet on the bottom. It's in really, really great pre-loved condition. Rolled leather handles and then the strap you can take off. Uh, the strap is not adjustable though. Okay, you can wear it as a crossbody, but you cannot adjust it, but you can detach it if you like. So, really pretty little Kate Spade embossed right there, and then the little spade is right here, and then the Kate Spade tag is right there. Okay. Let's see, what else? Wouldn't be a haul without a Michael Kors, you guys. Brand new, I found another one. Brand new. Brand spanking new Michael Kors satchel. No signs of wear. Somebody just donated it because they guess they just didn't want it anymore. Adjustable detachable strap, post adjustments, rolled leather handles, and 
here is the interior, extremely clean with an inner zipper pocket. And then on this, in this pocket, there are two more pockets. And then there are feet on the zip bottom. Great looking purse. Little teeny tiny MKs on it. Little micro MKs. Isn't that pretty? Safiano leather. All right, and then look what I found in another one of these. Stoked. So stoked. It's another convertible backpack by the Sack. These are so expensive. And it's in the infamous tan color. So this one you can wear as a crossbody or a backpack. All straps are adjustable. I've sold many of these. They go really quick for me. The inside has a zipper, a big open pocket, and then a zip top. And then the inside of this one is super clean, like nothing's ever been in it. A zipper and two open pockets. Okay, corners look great. Bottom is great. Gorgeous bag by the sack. It's embossed right here, by the way. Okay, so there's that. Gosh, what else have I got? Oh, this one. She's pretty. This one is so pretty. This one has gunmetal hardware, and this one was made in Italy. Maker on this beauty is... Divina Fiorenz made in Italy genuine leather. And it's a gorgeous satchel. So it's got two straps, pewter hardware, or I should say gunmetal hardware, I'm sorry. It does have the matching strap with it. That's reversible and adjustable. Croc embossed. Zip top closure with an inner zipper, two open and a zipper pocket. This bag looks to have never been worn before. So, excellent, beautiful condition. And then let's get the zipper top closure, show you how that works. Super smooth. Really love this one. I love croc emboss things though. I love us, the snake patterns. So really beautiful, genuine leather bag, and it does have its strap. And we'll put that on. I'll just keep it on the inside, actually. And then we'll put it on later. Save a little more time. Okay. All right. I have Mark Jacobs. Where are you at, Mark? I love this pouch. Mark Jacobs pouch. And kind of like a tie-dye look. And it's quilted. Can you see how it's quilted on there? And it is nylon. A little chunky zipper right here. And then there's your interior. All you have to do with these, if you put cosmetics or whatever, use it as a catch-all, use it as a clutch. If it gets dirty, toss it in the wash. And the color of the zipper is dark purple. It's really cool. And it's in beautiful condition. I've been lucking out lately. Really lucking out. Oh, I had to get this. Not for the name because it's just cute. A little watermelon Steve Madden wristlet. Use it as a wallet, a little catch-all, a little cosmetic bag, whatever. So cute by Steve Madden. A little watermelon slice. And it is faux leather. And just as cute as can be. How cute to pull this out of your purse. 
just too cute. I have a vintage coach um, wristlet clutch. I always pick these up because they're coming fewer and far between. It's got the silver hardware. Big open part here and then this pocket is also usable. And there's a little mark here. But other than that, it looks great. Okay, so there's that. Ooh, I got this Coach Poppy Tartan. This is a really cool, a card wallet, a passport wallet, whatever you like in the tartan print. And the inside is leather and hot pink. Hard slots, a pouch, and a place to put your whatever you want. It's got the little sparklies in it. And it's embossed coach right here. also have oh this looks like an Hermes it's not Hermes it does not say Hermes anywhere but it is leather and it looks just like I don't remember the name I'm gonna have to look it up but the Hermes leather wallet and this is in brand new condition black pebbled leather also use this as a clutch if you want. Comes with the little zipper and card slot coin purse, little coin wallet dealio here. And that just slips right back there. Then in here you have card slots. And then right here are one, two more card slots. Silver hardware, adorable. Really, really nice wallet. But there, it's unbranded, there's no name. It's just that it's really pretty leather and black and silver. And everything on it is perfect. Super excited to find that. Okay, then I've got, oh, I went ahead and I got the coach. Um, little wristlet in, this is a coated canvas. Put your little cards in there, wristlet, strap, and it's a baby blue interior, brand new, zero signs of wear for my coach lovers out there. There's a lot of you, a lot of coach lovers out there. And the strap on here is leather, silver hardware. Lots of SLGs today, right? Okay, and then lastly is this one. And you know I had to pick this one up because this bag right here is my jam. I love this raw leather. It's gonna patina, it's gonna scratch. It's got the post closure that I love. The interior is raw and it is by Abel. Um, Abel something global. And you know me in these bags. It's got two front slip pockets and then one big raw leather interior. Cross body strap that can be adjusted also by the post adjustments. Super sturdy, thick leather. But if you'd like, I've told you guys in the past, so if you don't like scratches, you don't like patina, um, this bag is definitely not for you because it's gonna come that way. You can see little scratches on it already and it's just gonna get more like that and more worn in over time. That's why I love it. All right, you guys, that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed everything. Thank you so much for getting us to over 30,000 subscribers and um, just so excited about it. Make sure you're here this Friday for our giveaway and I wanna let you know, if you purchase something, it doesn't have to be on a live. If it's through the website, that's fine. If it's through this video, that's fine. Your name is still going into the basket for the beautiful brand new Coach Purse giveaway. So I will see everybody on tomorrow's, what are we doing? Live tomorrow.
another sale and auction so stay tuned um, but grab these if you want them because a lot of them won't last and I won't have them to show you tomorrow okay all right guys have a super great rest of your day and we'll see you later bye everybody